Welcome to our comparison video on switching from 315 70ths R17 to 285 70ths R17. Replacement tires have to be within 3% of the original tire's overall diameter. The diameter difference between these tire sizes is 4.8%, exceeding the acceptable 3% range. Therefore, the interchange is not recommended. If you still want to switch, adaptations might be necessary to prevent issues such as rubbing or clearance problems. The decrease in diameter by 1.65 inches with the 285 70th tires will lower the vehicle's ground clearance. While this reduction can make it easier to navigate obstacles on rough roads, it may result in a higher speedometer reading and a higher risk of scraping or damage on rough terrain. The 315 70th tire has a width of 12.4 inches compared to the 11.22 inches of the 285 70th tire. The narrower tire reduces the contact patch by 1.18 inches, potentially enhancing fuel efficiency but also slightly diminishing traction and stability. Switching to 285 70ths decreases the sidewall height by 0.83 inches. While the smaller sidewall might improve handling and response on paved roads, it could result in a less comfortable ride on rough terrains due to reduced impact absorption. With the smaller 285 70ths tires, the speedometer will read slightly higher than the actual speed. For example, at a speedometer reading of 20 miles per hour, the actual speed will be 19.04 miles per hour. Based on our observation, switching to 285 70ths R17 offers benefits like improved fuel efficiency and enhanced handling on paved roads. However, the reduced ground clearance and narrower width may compromise off-road performance and stability. The change in speedometer accuracy is minor but should be noted. Overall, for on-road driving, the switch can be advantageous, but off-road enthusiasts might prefer the original 315 70ths for better ground clearance and traction.